Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In this training tutorial, I will demonstrate our fantastic new bone segmentation, that's bone and or teeth segmentation, and I'll demonstrate that in just a minute, functionality in the Blue Sky Plan software. So first thing it's important to do is to check that you're using version 4.12 of the Blue Sky Bio software, of the Blue Sky Plan software. If you're using an earlier version, then the relevant functionality is not included. What we're going to do is we're going to click on Model Master and then Import Patient CT Scan. Of course, navigate to a CT scan on your computer. You could, as always, load zipped, unzipped, compressed, uncompressed DICOM files. Simply select the relevant DICOM files and click OK. Select the relevant DICOMs, click OK. Now select the relevant field of view. So take into consideration what you want to be segmenting. So if you're going to be segment, segmenting uh, the bone, maxilla, whatever, make sure to include that or keep that in the relevant field of view. So I'm just going to leave everything as is, include the full data set, and go ahead and click on OK. OK, for our purposes, I just closed, that, closed out the window to import an STL file. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and import that STL file. We'll take a look at that as well. So I'm just going back to import, importing the relevant STL file, run the automatic merge, and we'll take a look at that in just a few minutes later in the video presentation as well. Okay, now running the segmentation is super easy. You want to make sure you're in the model master module, even if you're going to be going to surgical guides or placing an implant or wherever afterwards, the functionality is available in the model master module. You want to go to the segmentation panel. If you don't have the segmentation panel open here, then just go to your panel list and choose segmentation. Now we're going to be using the automatic draw segmentation functionality. You have the option of creating one STL file for the maxilla that includes the teeth and the option of one mandible file that includes the teeth, or you have the option of don't merge teeth and draw models, which means that you're gonna get one STL file for the upper jaw, one STL file for the lower jaw, and individual STL files for each tooth. So you have the different options here and you're able to select what you wanna select, maxilla and or a mandible with the teeth merged as a single STL file or without the teeth merged as a single STL file. And again, you'll have an STL file for each jaw and for each tooth. And now what you're gonna do is click Start Automatic Segmentation button. So this does take, depending on the computer, it could take one to three minutes to run through the process. As it starts running through, you're gonna see the different teeth changing colors as it's going around segmenting each individual tooth. Now the process is gonna run automatically until it gets to the stage that it segmented a particular jaw, and we'll see that. And then it gives you the option of reviewing the segmentation in the 2D slices. If you want, you could use the tools to go ahead and fine tune the segmentation, or you just click the Create Surface button and it will turn the jaw into a surface. If you do come across a case that does not completely automatically segment on its own, send us the case to plan at blueskybio.com and we'll use that to keep teaching and keep improving the software. Okay, so the segmentation was running and now it's completed the maxillary bone segmentation and we could see, of course, the area that's going to be included in an STL file is colored pink. We could use the tools here that I'm not gonna get into right now, but just so you know, if you wanna fine tune or include or exclude anything that has been segmented or should not be segmented, you could use the tools here. But just to proceed with automatic segmentation, just go ahead and click on create surface and then the process will continue. Okay, so now the mandible segmentation is completed as well. We could see the nerve has been segmented as well. You could use the tools if you want to make any modifications or click create surface to finish the segmentation and to proceed. Okay, so a couple of things to notice here. I've turned on the hint for the maxilla and the mandible models. So we could see in our different views how tightly the outline is wrapped around the bone. Okay, we could also see in our axial slices as well, same thing, we could see how tightly those outlines are wrapped around the bone, indicating the accuracy of segmentation. We could also notice in our 3D view that we now have the CT scan visible as well as the models. If we wanted to change the transparency of the model, for example, 
then we could see how visually just how it aligns with the CT scan. Of course, we could hide the CT scan as well, and we could see the outcome of the automatic segmentation. We have the ability to hide all the maxilla teeth or all the mandible teeth just with the click of a button. We can notice how the segmentation of the mandible includes the nerve as well. And actually, if we click our high nerve button, then we could see the actual holes created for the nerve. And of course, all of this could be exported with the nerves, without the nerves, the individual STL files of everything. Everything's exportable as well. Another interesting point to notice is that I have turned on the hint for that STL model that we imported at the beginning, which is in green. And if we take a look at the outline of the segmented teeth versus the STL imported model in our different views, whether it's in our slice view or in our axial view, we could see how the outline of the segmented teeth compare to that one of the import model and how each one of those accurately aligns to the actual tooth itself. And finally, to point out some lesser known functionality that if you click on the name of the particular column, it checks and unchecks everything in that column directly. Finally, we've added a new functionality that if you go to export data, if you want to combine surfaces within the software itself, so let's say you want to turn all of the teeth into one STL surface, you could simply click or select the relevant teeth or the relevant surfaces and then click the Create Surface button. And what this does, there's no longer a need to export and to re-import. Essentially, it turns all of the selected files into a single STL file. To export the relevant data, make sure everything that you want to export is selected. You could put everything into a single folder by selecting the box export separated files to a folder and then click the export button. The software will now ask you which folder you want to save to or you could go ahead and click new folder and name it. Click the OK button and all the relevant files will be exported to that folder.